Hello everyone, here is as always Marcin and in this video I want to show you how you can edit your images quickly using color profiles in Lightroom or Camera. The profiles I'm going to use in this video are the profiles that are available within my new nearly 7 hours course that is available on Skillshare or Udemy. Uh, the links are in the description, but about this we are going to talk at the end of this video. So stay till the end of this video to find a little bit more details. And now we are going to start the lesson. I'm going to show you the example on few different image images. We are going to start with this one. It's quite simple. And I choose this because when we have the day image, I really like to press auto adjustments. They usually do a really good job. As I can see, this image is not really straight. So I want to straighten this and I will also use another very simple tool, transform. So move to the panel transform if you have this issue and I'm going, just going to straighten this with the auto. Once it's done, I would move to the color profiles. So the thing I want to talk about, I'm going to hit here to open all of the color profiles and if you have my course, if you bought some of my color profiles from the page, you can install them here. All of the informations are in the course. I'm also going to make the video on this channel, how to create your own color profile. So if you don't want to get my course, if you don't want to buy the color profiles from my page, don't worry. I will make the video on how to create your own color profiles. So for this image, I want something bright. I'm going to use the profile called Type A, which is available with the Lightroom course that once again, link in the description. So I'm going with Type A and I have a few similar images. So for those images, I would go with the same color profile and I'm rather happy. So the job would be done over here. For the next images, I'm going to go to some sunset images and the ones I took during Safari, some from Cape Town over here. And for sunset images, the quick adjustments usually do not work that well. And you can see it when I'm going to hit auto, I feel the shadows are way too bright. So I'm going to make the adjustments from the very beginning by myself. I'm going to bring up a little bit of the shadows a little bit of the blacks as well and maybe take down a little bit of the highlights increase a little bit of the contrasts and now i'm going to try the color profile once again lightroom color profiles and for this one i will choose earth i really like how colorful is this that's the reason why i choose this but i feel it should be a little bit darker so i'm actually going to increase the contrasts decrease the blacks. so even the last job for this image would be required to make it as good as I want to make it. Something around this and some other image. I would go with this one. Once again, I'm going to make my own adjustments. I'm going to choose the same profile. Looks well. Increase a little bit of the shadows and blacks. You can go with the profile at first, so then you will see how the image looks like increase the contrast and we get this amazing sunset image. So maybe something more. I will show you two more quick edits at the very end. This is uh, one of my favorite images. Actually, it doesn't look like this at the moment, but this image I took in Mauritius during the summer. It was a nice sunset, which you cannot tell right now, but I would increase the shadows, increase the blacks a little bit and decrease the uh, highlights because I don't want the sunset to be that strong. I'm also going to increase the contrast just a little bit and then I would use one of the color profile named dry for example. It goes really well for this image. Uh, of course you could go with anything else. All of them I really like. I feel for this image this dry one uh, looks the best for me maybe bring shadows a little bit more. And what I could do here also work a little bit more with hue saturation and luminance. So I'm going with it. 
the color first. I'm going to see all. I want to work a little bit more with the blue. I'm going to increase the saturation, decrease the luminance, or maybe, maybe keep it very similar, and also work a little bit on the shade of the blue and aquas. And this is how I like it. The very end, I'll transform this a little bit simply with auto. Don't want to waste uh, too much time. And this would be something I really like. So you can polish this a little bit more. And from something not really impressive, we get really amazing sunset. We can work more probably on the yellows to push it a little bit further. Let's have a look on this image. Another color profile lets you something different, maybe for this image. This one works perfect and I don't really have to apply any more adjustments. I could probably increase the contrast a little bit, bring something more from highlights and shadows to give it extra punch. And for the last image, I will go with this really dark image. So I'm going to with auto first to see how it could look like. I think it's way too far. I'm going to decrease the exposure. And once we get this right, I will go with the dry. It looks really great and a little bit more contrast. So that's how I like it. And this dark image that we had at the very start that wasn't really good at all is gone and we get this really amazing moody image. So this is how you can easily and quickly edit your images, whether it's in Lightroom or camera with color profiles. You can get the color profiles within my Lightroom course. You can get some other color profiles from my website, or you can create your own color profiles. Um, there is actually some videos I will show you how to create really good color profiles very soon on this channel. So how to get the ones that I just showed you on Skillshare and there is available my Lightroom course nearly seven hours and what's best you can get two months for free. If you knew, if you never used Skillshare, that will be two months for free and you can watch this one as much as you want and many other of my courses. For those who already follow me on Skillshare, of course, if you miss that, join the course, get the resources, because within resources, you will get eight color profiles and eight Lightroom presets. And it's really amazing deal. You cannot get anything better because it barely comes at no price. And people sell a lot of profiles and presets that are not good and they charge you a lot. So I give you professional product from someone who do color grading, professionally on the daily basis you you can be sure that it's quality product for barely any price for those who don't like subscription models you can get this on udemy also link in the description the same uh, things included and if you want to get more of the color profiles from my classic lats series or fashion lats series 12 each as the lats and profiles so 12 lats and 12 LUTs converted to profiles as well that you can install to Lightroom. Uh, that's your choice, of course. If you have some other color profiles, that's how you use them to edit images quickly, whether it's Lightroom or Camera. Thank you for watching and all the best in the new year. If you are a retoucher, I wish you a lot of great work, a lot of quality work. If you're a photographer, I hope this year will be full of really great images. Thank you and see you very soon.